What is going on YouTube? This is Ryan Reacts with another review, not a reaction. Um, this is one of those bands that <clears throat> it's an acquired taste, I guess, or an acquired listen. Not everyone's gonna like this style of metal. Um, I heard this band and this song a long time ago. I'm talking like maybe around ten years ago or so. Go figure, right? Just a little trend with my channel. <laughs> And I didn't hear every song on this album, but there's a couple songs that stand out to me, but this is the main one. And a fun fact is I've seen these guys live and, you know, they played like one or two songs. And I just kept on screaming, holes in a desert, holes in a desert. And people around me were laughing because even they know it's like that's their best song and that's what really put them on the map. Not saying they don't have other albums, other tracks, etc. But holes in a desert. So... The album cover is also, uh, it's interesting, I understand art, concepts, and stuff like that, but I did a courtesy censor on, yeah, because I don't want anything like that on my channel, um, so without further ado, let's go. Oh yeah, and by the way, the genre is like stoner sludge. So I guess I'll also add, since I bring that up, it's one of those songs that I would listen to while I was, like, super high or, you know, just thinking about the concepts of, like, being on psychedelics while, you know, because even, even if you look at this album cover, despite the whole censored aspect that I put on top, excuse me, um, it's like she's, like, one with the tree. She's taller than the tree. There's a bird randomly, like, you know, just perspectives and just the imagination, just the mind. Let's go. My right ear is happy. Now you can kind of understand why it just instantly hooks you in. Just that intro is very groovy and just very melodic and just very nice. But then this is what throws some people off. raspy like vocals you have the stoner sludgy like riffs and drums and just the melody then you have those trippy cleans coming out they're like not the emo crybaby screams or emo crybaby uh, cleans that a lot of other bands exhibit but it's more of like a manly like you know like I've been through a lot in my life I'm mature kind of cleans you know it's more like a talking kind of clean, but there's still some nice tone to it. 
and then just the lyrics in general, you know, just like his voice can't explain and um, colors, shapes, and vibrations that shake, or he might have said that shape, but I think he said shake because the vibrations shake. Um, it's like tripping out, you know, just not being in your uh, conscious, uh, normal state of mind, you know. And I've been through that a lot in my youth. And even in my current sober state, I've been sober for almost six years. Not even a beer, but I still trip out in the mind sober. Too sludgy. Yeah, so this right here, I'll show you. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, where's my headphones? Here we go. It's my health smoothie, so when I drink, it hits the mustache. You don't even want to know what's in that. There's a lot, a lot of powders, bananas, strawberries, beetroot powder, and honey, raw honey, just a lot of spirulina and chlorella. Trying to think what else. Oh yeah, like uh, chia and flaxseed powdered up, just blend it all together. But I was looking at the camera and I'm like, well, at, at me on the camera, and I'm like, hmm, I gotta clean up my mustache. Mm, anyway, let's do it.
of sludge. The song's about to be over. I should have just not even paused it, but... Oh, do you hear how sludgy that is? Just, it's just boom, boom, boom. And then the background. Da -na -na, da -na -na -na. It's just crazy. And then his voice is just like, just being treated as an instrument rather than like a, a focal point. The Atlas Moth people. I didn't even say the name of the the group um, at the beginning, but I did say the title because I kept screaming "Holes in a Desert, Holes in a Desert." But no, um, I think they're heavily influenced by like Macedon and Rivers of Nile and just stoner, sludgy like stuff. I don't want to pretend to know many bands in that genre or anything close to it but the couple bands I do know kind of sound similar which I'm actually going to review Where Owls Know My Name by Rivers of Nile because I feel like that really shows you the trippy side of metal the video so we'll see that next um, if you want but as always, hit the thumbs down, don't subscribe, but may the Lord, Jesus Christ, bless you, have a good day, and you know what time it is, what time is it anyway, there we go, I love the focus, bam, it's a Tamron lens too, on a Sony body, you figure it out.